Welcome champions, this is the RPA champion and in today's video we are going to be answering the question of what is IBM Watson? But not just this, we are also going to understand how can I use IBM Watson? What purposes does it serve? How does it work? Also, how can I create my own IBM Watson and use it for myself? So, sit down in your chair, get a cup of tea and let's get started answering these questions right away. So what is IBM Watson? IBM Watson is an assistant chatbot. It's an assistant chatbot that can be plugged into many different components and many different tools. What do I mean by many different components and tools, such as, for example, we can enhance it with uh, text-to-speech so that it can talk to us, so that instead of chatting with the chatbot, we can call a telephone number and we can talk without IBM Watson assistant chatbot. We can also plug it into different other services from IBM like IBM Watson Discovery. IBM Watson Discovery will allow it to gain insight and other functionalities as well. This is overall a general picture about what is IBM Watson. In more detail, IBM Watson allows us to create AI-driven conversational flows. That means that we do not have to program all of the answers and retrieve all of the answers that we would expect the chatbot to provide to the user after asking a question. Uh, those answers would be intelligently collected, made sense out of, and provided to the user. It also allows, uh, it also allows to connect directly to users. So uh, imagine if you were talking with a chatbot, you cannot talk with them anymore because you're not understanding or not they're not able to help you. Well, IBM Watson is able to connect you di directly to customer service, for example. And it also brings, as we said previously, it also brings a voice to your channel. Now, how does it work? In a couple of simple just sentences, I want to explain you how does it work before we start creating our own and understanding how we actually can create our own chatbot. So, this is you. This is you and your chatbot can be deployed on different dev devices. What do I mean? You can create your IBM Watson and then you can deploy it or put it on, for example, Slack. You can put it on WhatsApp. You can put it on Facebook Messenger so that you can answer for if you have a page. You can. Uh, send text messages to it or you can call it. You can also have it on your web page or via link or deployed on the cloud or your internal network system or your uh, internet. So this is how your chatbot is interacting with the different users. This is how the different users can connect to your chatbot or you or any other kind of user. Now after that what happens is you send a request to your chatbot meaning you ask it a question. Now there is a smart engine here from IBM that interprets this question. So obviously you give it some input and you customize it based on the industry and based on the use case that you want and based also on your customization and on the models that are already provided by IBM. It understands your intents and understands how you want to proceed to provide you the best information. Now uh, there's different ways that it can provide you different kinds of information. So for example, it can provide you uh, information about what you have asked and to enhance its information or the data that it's providing to you, it can connect to other information like uh, other apps, like I was saying before. It can connect, for example, to uh, IBM Discovery, which is a service that collects large amounts of data and then gives you insight into that data. And so, for making it much smarter and much more powerful. Then there is another functionality that allows it to query content such as, for example, PDF and a customer management system. This allows it to extract information already from your databases and, ha and have it query that information as well. In case that uh, you wanted it to, it can also interface directly with customer service support and therefore uh, connect with the client for a certain period of the call and then for the remaining period of the call pass it to a human being. Now that is an overview of how uh, how it works. Uh, 
it is also important to mention that it is made out of uh, an assistant and this assistant is made out of skills but before we get there why don't we just create it ourselves so if we go to cloudibm.com and create an account i have already created an account long long time ago now i will create the ibm assistant so follow along and let's see how we can create our own ibm assistant chatbot so the first thing that we have to do is we need to create a new resource now obviously i have done this previously i will just show you though where to find the assistant so that you don't waste any time now when you go to the catalog the catalog is where you will find all of the services from IBM Watson. So this is recommending it already for me here, but in case it's not recommending you for, for you there, you can go to services, you can go to AI, machine learning, and right here is Watson Assistant. Now to create it, we just simply clicked on it and there is going to be different options for us to create our IBM Watson Assistant. Now we can create the free version of Watson IBM Assistant, or we can create a paid version. Now there is 10,000 free messages uh, in the free version. Therefore, it is uh, more than enough to create a proof of concept or a uh, small functioning, uh, small functioning robot. Uh, so to create it, we will just hit create. Now, before creating it, uh, just to mention that there is also very good documentation and API documentation that I invite you to check it out if you are working with Watson Assistant and if you plan to create your own. Now, uh, once you have created it, you will be redirected to this page. Uh, you can go to services where you will be able to see all of the different services that you have from IBM and where you will also see your Watson Assistant. Now, clicking on the Watson Assistant will take you to the configuration page of Watson Assistant. Uh, from this page, we have all of our API keys and we have uh, also the connections with different applications that we have with our Watson Assistant. Now, to launch Watson Assistant, uh, we need to open a different browser. This is done automatically by just clicking on the button. Uh, a whole different uh, environment uh, is going to be presented to us. So we're going to be creating Watson Assistant in a, uh, or we're going to be creating our Assistant chatbot in a uh, dedicated interface. Now in this dedicated interface, uh, as you can see, I already have two assistants. Now how is IBM Watson broken down into? It's broken down into two main components. It's broken down into the assistant and the assistant helps you complete tasks as it says here. So it is as a uh, as an assistant. Uh, let's just imagine it as an assistant. And this assistant can have different skills. So it can uh, help you book a hotel room, it can help you book a rental, it can help you book a meeting. Uh, all of my examples are with booking, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So you can create different skills and each skill can be for something different. So you can have a assistant that has a certain set of skills, another assistant with a different set of skills. So like this, it becomes very versatile, very also uh, very scalable and very easy to implement different skills across different assistants that you might have if you are building also different chatbots and uh, also it will be easier for you to scale them faster and to build them faster uh, the more you break down your skills into little components or little skills now uh, uh, your IBM uh, assistant already comes uh, with a uh, pre-configured uh, IBM assistant that already has your first skill installed on it. Now you can see that you can already deploy it as a web chat or we can preview it. Now I will not get into too much detail. I will just show you the details of my skill because this is where you're going to be spending most of your time when you're going to be building your chatbot assistant or your Watson 
assistant. So uh, this is where you will find intent and this dialogue and options. Uh, I won't get too much into detail into this, but intents are basically what you want from the chatbot. Basically, you interact with the chatbot for a specific reason. So that question that you ask it or that message that you send it, that is the intent. So this is where you would input different intents that your chatbot can receive. And this dialogue, I will not go too much into detail and confuse you, but uh, right now let's see a demo of IBM Watson Assistant. So this is a demo that has been set up by IBM and it shows a couple of three different examples of how the chatbot can work. So let's say for example that this is a uh, chatbot that is going to help you with payment. It has asked you different things. Now I will select my card uh, and this is supposed to uh, demonstrate how this chatbot is not currently working. So let's maybe try another one. So let's book an appointment. Let's type here. Uh, so I can help you with the schedule of an appointment. What date would be best for you? You need 24 hours notice. The earliest would be tomorrow. All right, uh, let's try 12. So, all right, let's try this. All right, so let's do it for tomorrow. So, as you can see, uh, this is going to guide me through the entire process of uh, booking an appointment. Now, uh, it's also configured so that every time that I make a mistake, it tries to correct me and it's guiding me also through also the other information that I require. Now let's check out the third and that is a recommended a credit card. Uh, so I guess a commission or how about rates? This is pretty, this is also pretty simple chatbot. So it has looked for the term and it has found it in its uh, directory. This is probably connected to discovery. So, uh, all of these are connected to different services. So they make the chatbot much smarter. So uh, one last uh, try on the, uh, on this, on this chatbot. Let's see. All right. This time it is working. So let's, uh, let's click on today. And as you can see, this is could be a bank chatbot that is connecting directly to the systems of the bank and automating uh, several processes that otherwise would have been done manually by either calling the bank or by logging into the system. Now, this is IBM Watson. It is a great tool. I am currently building the world's smartest chatbot. Follow that series. Uh, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you have liked this video. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.